Hey everybody, this is Brian again. Thought I'd go and do the uh, yard walk. We're gonna do the upper yard. Sprinklers just shut off. So we should be able to get up here without having to get sprayed this time. You can see the, uh, the goji bush here. It's got a lot more blooms on it. You can see there's the, that's the gojis that are formed. Gonna be a lot coming from this bush. It's all wet right now, so it's kind of squishy. You can see the sunflowers are doing well. Getting their heads here. So these should be probably opening up by next weekend for the video update. Apples are doing well. I moved that whiskey barrel from down below up here. Wanted to get it a little more, so that way these black-eyed Susans will get a little bit better watering. They were kind of in an odd area down below. Everything you can see is everything is just really, really growing up here at this time of year. Asian pears looking nice. You can see the sunflowers are starting to open up there with the tomatoes. And we have plenty of tomatoes that are ripe in here. Back in there. All through along here. This is basically just Harvest Central now for all of our cherry tomatoes. And then we came and harvested off all the uh, big tomatoes back here yesterday. We had a, a barbecue with our kids, so they came and we picked pretty much all the red ones that were back in here. You can see the sunflowers opening up, getting their multi-heads. Starting to pop open. Looks like a few tomatoes fell off. But we got plenty. There's lots of squash back over there. I need to harvest some of that today. Might make another video to show you guys the uh, this week's squash load. <laughs> squash load. <laughs> starting to sag. You better get, you gotta get put some kind of a stake or something in here. It looks like it's tipping over. Well, eh, what the heck. I'll just leave it. Why not? Nah, I'll stake it. <laughs> it's like it's starting to lean on the, the bean hutch. I don't want my beans to fall down. But you can see all the beans, there's some those are uh, bush beans down here. So we got looks like we got some beans to pick. There's one there. Just to show you guys, they're kind of a purple color. They're a strike, strike bush bean, and I think they're purple. We had some strike green, and then these, and then these are the scarlet runners. I haven't seen any uh, beans yet. There might be some bean pods starting to form. Yeah, there's some. I think somewhere right up in here there was. I thought I saw the little spindly guys. Maybe not. I was up here yesterday in the yard and the, the hummingbirds were buzzing me. Thinking I was messing with their beans again. I guess I can show you some of the pears. This tree hasn't really borne any uh, fruit yet, so this is its first year of putting fruit on. I think it's because we... Uh, put the watering system on it, you know, because we have an overhead watering system that I installed throughout the yard up here. And it's getting plenty of water now. Because we do have this big, huge maple tree, and it's just under the inside of that uh, drip line of that tree. So you see the edge of the drip line is up there. And it uh, used to get kind of pretty dry up here, but now you can see that we've got a watering system so the mulch is all pretty moist. You can see the cucumbers are, seem to be doing pretty well considering they get that hot hot afternoon sun. There's some beans. There's some more beans there. There. There's some more there. So we got quite a few beans coming up now. All right well that's the video for the upper yard. I'll do the video for the lower yard next. All right talk to you guys again. Bye.